How does one truly show compassion in America these days? Answer, you vote for mentally unfit people to lead you, of course. If you do wish to stay, well, we have just a job for you. And all there is. But wait, isn't it cruel to put somebody in a position they can't possibly handle? I'm picking up your sarcasm. Answer, no. Standing them at a podium, asking them questions, and then nodding at the gibberish coming out of their mouth? Well, I should hope so, because I'm laying it on pretty thick. Like a mother might nod at a five-year-old child, expressing his thoughts about the decline of Rome? Is the truly compassionate thing to do. Oh, come on, bitch. Oh, that sounds good. Melt the chocolate inside the dice. That really ups the resale value. We're like... You're right, little leader. Uh, large wooden horses are bad. And yes, we can lower inflation by spending massive amounts of money to, like, burn all the large wooden horses in the world and display the spectacle on the public square of Twitter. I think you're going to be okay here. They have a thin... Hmm. I'm surprised you didn't know that. I think your brain has a thick candy shell. That'll... that'll fix stuff. You're... I'm, your brain has the shell on it. Are you talking? Shut up, Richard. Yes, your wish will be done, little leader. Fortunately, you now have the unchecked power of the pen. In place of a dark lord, you would have a queen. Not dark, but beautiful and terrible as a lord. Treacherous is the sea. Uh, wait a second, hold on, sir. That's that's not a good idea. I think you're overreacting. I know, sir, that it is a really big wooden horse that they left on the White House lawn, but it's just a pinata. Do we really need to hit it with a nuclear weapon? Is that really necessary, sir? It seems a little extreme. Yeah. Oh my god, he just entered the new nuclear codes. So the combination is one, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest combination I ever heard in my life! That's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage! <laughs>